And hello everyone, Tigger here. Welcome back to more Tigger Runner Plays Paper Mario. Anyway, I think last episode we went down this way. Yes, we did, because hence why. And what did we get? I don't. Actually, what did we get? A frying pan? Yeah, oh, yeah, we got the frying pan. Or mail bag, one of the two, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, let me bring out Goombario just in the off chance we come across some new enemies, which there are some over here. There is one right there. I didn't know you hit, kept shooting. Uh, we have, take a look. Spy guy. This is a spy guy. Spy guy looks like they're ready for war. Okay. Attack H, attack seven, attack power two, defense zero. Uh, they can change the weapon. I like they can do the. I want to go to sleepy stomp. Oh, yeah, they have that move. Where like they can sling, use a slingshot, or they have their uh, switch to a hammer, which I think can put you to sleep or do something make you dizzy. I don't remember exactly. I'm gonna go to the love guy because they can heal, and I don't want to deal with it. Actually, a couple days ago, my microphone, well, all my stuff got disconnected, my microphone and all that. So my audio settings might be off. I don't know. Ooh, double experience. I'll take it. That's eight. Now we can get up to 92. So I just need eight more. So that's two more battles with those guys, because they have to give us four. Continue onwards. Oh, it's a big guy. Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why, I'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, you can give him stuff, but I. You want this? Mushroom? Ugh, that was the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. Ugh. Anyway, uh, something that now is that I can't really unsee this image now as this the gourmet guy because someone I've been watching recently, I, I don't know his name because I don't look at people's uh, names that much, but for like Souls content, they have an icon, their icon is a gourmet guy. So now I just see that. Uh, speaking of Souls, by the time this video goes up, you guys should probably know that by now. I think I just finished chapter two. Uh, so we have to go back out because we have to return the friend pan to what's her face? Tasty. But by the time this video goes up, which I think we're on chapter we're on chapter four, and I still have to upload all of chapter three, so it's gonna be a while. Because one episode seventeen and upload wise, I think I'm on my channel now. We have twelve, so we'll six episodes or oh, five episodes. Behind. No. Alright, we can leave now. So let's leave. And, uh. Yeah, all Demon Souls is fully uploaded. I was considering doing Dark Souls blind playthrough and record it. But then I realized, no, I think I want to do one Souls at a time. Because if it's. Like Demon Souls, I beat and play. Oh, there's a. I forgot to hide that badge on. I don't know where it is, but actually, isn't it over here? Yeah, there it is. There's a way later to kind of make it more easier, uh, and that is kind of spoilers. But there is an upgrade to our things, and if you get that, it actually will. Not reveal, but they would allow us to see. Uh, dodge master, make action command work more frequently. Uh, jump charge, that's not bad. D down pound, that could be useful. I think we'll take the jump charge. Just cause, why not? Oh yeah, we have to go to Tasty, why did I, why did I come out over here? <laughs> Alright, and so there we go. Thanks for coming to visit. 
All right, give her the frying pan. And she will bake us a cake. If you end up accidentally eating this, I believe you just go to that one room that has the infinite, infinite spawning cake mix. And just bring it back and she will cook it. Now, I'm not going to go for like 100% getting all the recipe and all that stuff just because I don't want to. Maybe when I get to 1,000 year door, I will because they keep track of it. Uh, I think they keep track in this game, but I just... I like being able to press start and see. And not go back to Mario's house every single time I do that. Oh, well, actually, uh, real quick, I'm going to go heal up real quick and then I'll be right back. Oh, there's a shy guy in here. Get out of here. I just decided to take a nap and... I guess since we're already at the place and I can walk back and explain. But yeah, I was saying that I won't only do one Souls game. Just in the off chance, like with Liza P, it's just getting. I get to a boss, I'm stuck on it. Great with dogs. Oh, demon. Oh, yeah, dog souls, not demon souls. If I struggle with the boss, leave, go to a different area, grind up a little bit. Liza P, I can do that, but I feel like I still need to learn how to play the game. So that's kind of where I am with that. So, I only want to do one Souls game at a time. And then eventually... I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do to replace Demon Souls. Uh, part of me thinking is just bite the bullet and do Pokemon Fire Red. And just finish a Pokemon game for once. But... Actually... I actually want to go this way, because we want to fight. I want to save, just in case. The Anti-Guy. So, I'm gonna see if my badges are up to par. I kind of want Jump Charge. I don't know if he's a... Uh, he might be immune to the attack change, or maybe he's immune to sleep. We'll find out. Crate change is good. Crate Hammer is kind of good for that. HP plus. Yeah, I think we're good with this. Right, if we talk to him. Hmm? What do you want? Get away from the treasure chest, pal. Friends, you don't mess with me. Fight. You want to fight? Are you nuts? You don't want to mess with me. Are you sure you want to fight? Fight. Well, alright. I did. I do love a challenge. Here I come, pal. Don't say I didn't warn you. So this is like a mini boss. We get to fight. A anti guy. This is an anti guy. His, his attacks are very intense. That he's also called a deadly guy. HP 50, attack power 10, defense 0. The attack power is 12 when he does it. Acrobatics attack, so dodge it. This guy is for real, so we better take him seriously. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a challenging fight. So, I want to see if he's immune to. Like, that still does a lot of damage. Okay, he is, uh, able to do that. So we're gonna charge with Gumbario. I was actually thinking about pitting What's-His-Face, uh, no, What's-Her-Face, uh, Balrin. Because if it gets to a point where like, I can just always use that, we're gonna charge with us. Raise up. So we use our turn to use Leap Stomp. And it go off this time, that's fine. And Head Bomb. Alright, so we will die if we don't do anything. So what we're going to do... We have a Life Stream too. Uh, can I have a Mushroom? I don't. I got rid of the mushroom. I have a Vols room. Well, that's not bad. I can just use a Repel Gel. I always thought the Repel Gel looked like a guy with a hat. Like a Smurf with a hat. I, I, as a kid, I always thought it was like that. But it's literally gel. Uh, we're going to charge. Because he can't do anything to us anyway. Uh, I we need to save that until I FP anyway. I try to put him to sleep. Alright, that's good, that's good. Oh, 
Okay, I think disappeared. I think actually with Thew, but she's refreshed to get more FP back in HP. I think it's five HP, which would give us up to 10. I keep using the D-pad, but the D-pads are the C-sticks. Actually, no, I think the D-pad is nothing. I have no healing item. I could try to see if I can use a stopwatch. But I think I'm just gonna sleepy stomp. Oh, there we go. And he gives us a ton of experience. Now, the fight probably is like, oh, that's not that bad. Uh, probably let's upgrade our DP again. But that wasn't that hard of a fight. Later in the game, there's an optional fight to fight three of them at the same time. And you get power plus badge. So if we want to, I think it's six VP to do that too. Yeah, six. Which we do not have. If I grab the flower plus, I could theoretically do it. The payoff is useful. It's only good if we take damage, and we're good on coins, so I could get rid of that. And probably Quake Hammer. I, I like having Quake Hammer, actually. I like refund too. I, I don't really need Ice Spy to be honest. Not Power Rush, uh. Power Plus, there you go. Yes, having the uh, Ice Spy on does help me get more things. Actually, I do kind of want that on. Alright, I got rid of the FP Plus, so we have 15 FP. So we're gonna have to level up that next time. So, I gotta remember to do that when we level up. Right back to the station that we were supposed to go to, and let's go. But yeah, later in the game, there is an optional fight to fight three of them at the same time. I might take it or might not, who knows. But in my old Let's Play Paper Mario on my old channel, which you still can watch if you want to, uh, there is a ton. Uh, okay, my brain just went to two different topics. <laughs> but what I say, on my old Let's Play, I went through the whole thing without dying. And I decided to do that optional fight. And I I had no life streams left. I was on the final hit. And I got lucky that I got a spell to spawn. To give me increased defense. To be able to block all their attacks and then finish them off. Which continues the I didn't die throughout the whole playthrough. Which was super, uh, super fun. But bringing up uh, something I noticed. A lot of my Paper Mario videos has been doing decently well and uh, i think that's for that all right we want to give him the uh cake oh oh mm, oh delicious this is lip smacking good yum and he drops Paper. No, it gets a cookbook. The cookbook allows us to, to cook two ingredients. So now we can mix and match to make even more items. I think we already tattled these guys. We did, but we never tattled the pyro guy. So, fire, so any contact with them will damage. Active percent attack power four. They are tough opponents, mainly because their attack power is so high. Anyway, he detects that water uh, involves water or snow, or the best way, well, you know. And we're gonna jump on Pyro Guy. Yeah, I equipped the ice power because I saw these guys over there. I'm like, I should probably equip those. Uh, I mistimed it. 
Mario's now dizzy, so I can boost you. Kinda don't want to use any FP. I was thinking about going into uh, Bombette and using that one attack. Power Bomb, but I was like, mm, probably not. And I hit butt him. Now, normally on Sundays, like today, I would be. Well, I'll still be doing this because it's only like 120. But around this time, I would probably be getting dressed and getting ready to head to work. But since tomorrow is a holiday, they decided since Sunday is already slow as it is, and tomorrow's gonna be slow as well. We're just going to probably to make it so we have as much work as possible for tomorrow. They're making it so we don't do anything today. Uh, so yeah, they give us the day off. So we get a three-day weekend. Friday, I kind of spent time just with the boys. Now, normally, we have a... We're, we're doing a thing. I'm just going to use PK Star, I, PK Star Storm. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, two on two off, or two on one off. So basically, two day weeks we record and do all that stuff for two weeks, and then one week we do absolutely nothing. We do our own stuff. But this week, since it was a sell at a game shop we go to, we decided, eh, we're just going to do that, and then we just hung out the whole day. I right, think a nice badge was. That would have been. Terrible. Well, good boy, you can't do anything, so we're gonna switch to Koopa. What's this? Uh, There's a thought pro. Yeah, yeah, so. Since I had this three days off, I was like, okay. We hung out on Friday, and then yesterday I was going to record, but then I stopped playing League of Legends. I know, that's kind of a bad thing. Got on a losing streak, and then I pretty much tilt or rage queued until I got more wins. And next thing you know, it's like 3 in the morning. I'm like, god dang it, I could've. That's why today I said, luckily I have this extra day because I'm recording today. I also technically have Tuesday off, not because we get that day off as well. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment, and I just in the off chance. I, I can't, I basically do something and I'm not allowed to go to work. And just take the day off. And that's what I did. So, I work tomorrow, which is going to be a dead easy day anyway. And then, why don't go back to... I still have to work, of course, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm mean, only work three times this week. It's not bad. All right, by flipping the switch, we can now go to Red Station. My favorite color. We're leaving all aboard. Even we can skip that. But I thought we had to watch it every time. This area. Gives me so much memories. Okay, there's something here, but I'm thinking it's right here. Yep. I decided to keep that on just because... Kind of need it. So, you have to figure out the puzzle to this. If you get it wrong, you fight enemies. Sometimes they give you coins, but... Oh yeah, soda pop. Oh, we need bow for this area. Thank you. I really. You want to stand here? Now, it, this uh, to figure out the puzzle, you want to fight this guy, and then take that piece of paper back to the total thing. But here's a little fun thing. Those. Colors of the star guys are the same color as that. 
that is the code you have to put in as well. The code is yellow, green, red, blue. I thought it was yellow, red, green, blue, but... Yeah, I mixed the two up. That is so cool that they did that, boy. Uh, anyway, I think one of these things does seven damage, right? No, it's just... Five. Well, I can just swap to bomb bed and use power bomb. Like, we're not close to leveling up, so... And this is the reason why I decided to keep Quake Hammer. So I can do something like that. So yeah, the, the house next to the pipe of uh, Mario is where you want to take that to. Oh, I get a mushroom. I'll take it. I kind of needed that for that thing, but I didn't have it. What I like about, like, when I'm playing video games is I, I just get very nostalgic for, like, certain areas. And I remember I said when I got to this thing, this area is very nostalgic for me. Uh, I had the guidebook, and I couldn't figure out the, you know, thing, because one, I didn't read at all as a kid for some reason. I didn't think of reading the text. I look at the images and like, why, why no work? All right, let's yeah, I get paired here, but yeah, I remember there was a group of kids outside uh, our house. So I went outside and I asked him. Hey, do you know what I have to do for this thing in Paper Mario? Of course, they had no clue what the game was, but I brought my guy book out and like, oh, it says put this code in. So I did, and I was like, oh, thank you guys. And I just remember doing that. It was uh, a memory that I just have. All right, and here we get the dictionary. I think that's why they give you that, uh, a dictionary. Because I think you need the dictionary for them to be able to decipher the, uh, code anyway. But if you know the code, you can skip doing that all, all entirely. No. Oh, I didn't want to switch. So, the code was not red. I, d I just do that. Whenever I spin, I have to, like, do that thing. Yellow, green, red, blue. This area also reminds me of, uh, Donkey Kong 64. The, uh, is, is it something factory? Uh, red station. Oh, what? Because they do that. No, uh. I was say they do that thing where it's like the same two letters. Like you have, uh. Jungle Japes. But no, that might. Oh, wait, no. Because. No, it is. It's Angry Aztec. I thought it was Crazy Aztec, but no. Then Frantic Factory. But it reminds me of that because it has like an area where there's like toys and stuff. Is it in the middle like it always is? Who would have thought? Alright, going back to Blue Station would take us to the beginning. And we can hit that switch to just do an infinite loop so we don't have to do that. So if we want to go back fast, we can. Which I think I might actually do that real quick. Ah, now we don't need to. I was thinking I should do that just to turn the things in, but then I realized I don't need to. Anyway, uh, Pyro Guy. Lucky your ice attacks also look on those. I would finish off uh, 
that character, but unfortunately we cannot. The thing is, I might actually have to call this episode short. Mainly because if we fight, because we're going up to a um, mini boss fight. Once we get that, we can go straight to the boss. And I don't really want to do the boss, but then again, I can do the boss prelude and all that stuff. Why did I attack the enemy that I can't physically attack? I think I went to Goombario just because I'm like, oh, we have to tattle someone later, so I might as well just pick him out now. I'm getting that I physically can't do that. Six all points. Uh, nothing down here. Oh, I thought I could make that. I do believe we need... Uh, you soon. Not you, uh, the other. Koopa, or paratrooper, my bad. Right, if we come up here, oh, never mind. We can't go up there. I keep, I'm like, oh, I didn't want to jump on him, but I'm like, oh wait, it's fine. I might as well get rid of him. I don't think Soul Shot is going to be enough to kill one of these. Barely, barely. He's going to do the dizzy attack. Mmm, blocked it. Easy. I'm like, why am I doing three damage now? And I'm like, oh yeah, I have the power plus. <laughs> I forgot. This is the defense plus, but it costs six FP. Uh, by the way, in this game, uh, 6 is the, no, 30 is the cap you can have for BP. But to get more, what you have to do is go to Rip Cheeto to sacrifice all the stats to increase it. Which I probably might end up doing that, because I feel like 30 HP might be, and 30 FP might be a good number for us. Because it's 50 HP, 58, I think it's 50 HP, and then 50 FP. Right, we want to pit you out. Actually, no, I don't think we can do that yet. I won't go in here anyway. We, he, 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 someone has come. Someone in here in the dark. We, he, oh, could it be? We, he, it's Mario. Looks like you're mine, Mario. We, he, I won't let you go anywhere. Wee -hee -hee. I'll take care of that quickly to return to doctors. Uh, so what you want to do is hit the lantern. And each hit lights it up. So about who hits like six times is a really good use for this. Alright, big lantern goes. I messed that up. Whoa. Paint light. Uh, what I want to do though, I'm gonna jump on the lantern though. Cause I think it's big enough for us to hit the ghost. But I'm going to switch to Goombario so I can paddle him at least. Big lantern ghost. This big lantern ghost, he avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP 40, attack power 5. Your friends like <clears throat> me can also be damaged when he does his flash attack. Flash does 2 attack power. It's launched many times to make it brighter than you. Then you'd be able to attack him. I thought he says, I thought he was getting at like if you get it too bright, he can't actually use that attack. Well, but at least you blocked it on the person who is the most important to block it with. I put him to sleep. Okay, now you can. That's the thing. I don't know which enemies have. Uh, Sleep resistance or not, and like some of them have like really interesting. I, like in my life, I've never seen this animation or animations bright, whatever, of him being asleep. Uh, I think the last time before this, the last time we've seen a lantern ghost is in Yoshi's Island.
Uh, I can try to see if I can put back to sleep. Or not, you know, because I could just be terrible and miss everything. Uh, is he going to do the flash attack or pit? Yeah. That's fine. Because we can just have Bao do this. Now it's super bright. No, I can take my thumbnail. All right, we got him done. I didn't need that spell. And oh boy, if he would have doubled my experience, it would have been better. But you know, 30 FP would have been cool. No. You can't see. All right, mister, I'm what? And I, um, get out of here. There you go. Yeah, I got out. Yay for me, thanks, mister. Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero. You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest. You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like wee hee hee. I gotta make it up to you. I'll go with you, Mario. I heard, um, shy guys are saving. Saying that you were trying to save the princess. Yeah. What? Join your party. Press down to have her illuminate. Oh, yeah, she's a her, but I think in Super Paper Mario, you can get, like, little cards of different characters. And you get old party members. And for what? It says he. Could be a typo. Who knows? Anyway, so when you press down on what, you can actually see where you're going. I, in my head, I was like, it's like yeah, with her being a girl, this is our second uh, girl, party member of my mom bed. But anyway, you can also see hidden blocks with this and get items. I'm carrying too much. Ugh. I don't need the soda pop. FP is good and all, but I'd rather have HP. Because F oh, FP is also really good. But down here, there's also a hidden red block, which gives us heat focus. But we did see a little piece of it, so we're gonna go do that real quick. Right over here. I think I do need Paragary. I dang it. Gosh darn it. Alright, right over here. They give us an upgrade thing to upgrade our party member. That's why there's probably only one in here, because they the game developers probably thought you most likely would have everyone upgraded by this point. So we're not going to pay like three in here, so you have to backtrack into here. A lot is upgraded to Super Ring. So the ones we saw in the uh, thing, we don't need anymore. And I believe there's another one at the beginning, right over here. If I don't have enough room. I believe we don't pick up the item. Yeah, you can re-get it later. I know there's a healing thing on the other side. But let's just eat the mushroom just so we can get rid of it. Yeah, see? Super mushroom. Uh, before we go into where we need to go to fight the boss, we're going to go back to Toe Town and do some things up real quick. Uh, blue station. Also, you can go to any station you want now. Man, one thing I hate about that is we're getting near the end of summer. I think we're almost about to hit fall, which is good. Because it is so freaking hot in my room right now. I have my fan on, but it's blowing the complete opposite way because I don't want to get picked up in the mic. But every single time I've had it recorded, it doesn't seem like it gets picked up. And if it does, it's the fan. It's hot. My bad. <laughs> All right, so the things I want to do real quick is go turn in a lot of these items that we picked up, and then we're going to call it there. And the next time, we will finish off chapter four. For some reason, I'm like, oh, it'll probably be like episode 19 by the time we get done with uh, this chapter. I forgot how short these chapters are. They're not, 
Well, not that long. Yeah, let's go to turn this. Something I remember doing a long time ago is back when I did my, not my original. Was my original? No, I don't think it was my original one. And I forgive it the cookbook. We can do crazy stuff. Do I have anything I can make? I could make a maple, uh, super maple, which is, uh, because there's three variants of upgrades because you can mix a maple syrup and a mushroom to make a maple mushroom or something. I don't know, which is pretty much five FP, five PP, FP, and then you can pretty much get all three of the FP items and then mix it with all three of the mushrooms. I don't think I have anything. No, I don't want to cook. But I remember a long time ago, it's back when YouTube had a time limit. I think it was like 20 minutes. What do we have? Spin smash and then multi bounce. But anyway, uh, I remember I would record like four videos and basically you'd be like, okay, I keep pressing like down left and it's, I believe it's not over here. I think it's right down here next to the. No. Was it over here? Ah, I don't know. It's not important to get right now. But let's go turn this thing to him. Yeah, so it's rooted in the language of the shy guy, and we can't do that unless we give him the dictionary. And it gives us a star piece. Hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. And I think the last one we have to return is the mailbag. I went up the episode. But as I was saying is when I was doing the uh, recordings, I would finish a chapter a day. So I remember like them taking like five videos. This is not where I needed to go. Like I would finish a chapter in five videos. But then again, a 20 minute time limit is kind of short. I give him the mill bag. I guess it's a star piece. And anyway, with that said and done, next time on our Paper Mario playthrough, we shall finish off chapter four, which was actually my goal for today, but we'll do that later. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.